This is episode 74 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, January 17th, 2022. In this week's show, Chris and Charlie review five craft beers. The first two are from North Park, and the next two are collaborations between North Park and Slice Beer Company, and then North Park with Cellar Maker. The last beer is a crazy milkshake ale from Creative Creature. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yes, you do. Uh, it's just two of us today here, Charlie. Yep. Tech Guy Steve is uh, not available. So we're we're going to run this on our own. We're getting, uh, uh, we borrowed some equipment from uh, Ashley and Ashley and their podcast, Do the Thought Work. Is that what it was? Yeah, Do the Thought Work. So try that out, folks. Oh, we're getting into beers, Chris. Right now. Back off. Hey, so uh, today, Charlie, we have a couple of beers from North Park. The um, Excellent. I'm a beer guy. I'm a big fan of what they got going on down there. Save versus fire. We tasted this. Save At least versus I did. fire. Yeah, so this is a uh, uh, a Pilsner, um, a Nelson. <laughs> Smells delicious. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, I think it is. Nelson Rye Pilsner. Yeah, it says... Uh, we attacked this with a with a bolt of Nelson uh, Seven um, from Freestyle Hops to evoke a, a fiery elixir that will enchant your senses with the essence of lemon zest, golden berries, and subtle piney resins. What do you think of that? Four point seven. I'm tasting. I'm waiting on you. Mm, smells great. That, uh, Delicious Nelson hops. Yeah, we did taste this though. There, I believe uh, it's I believe still it good. It's you know, I think I like it better tasty. out of the can. Man, it's really, really good. But the know, end like, there, it's fantastic. Yeah, that's a uh, mm. that's a taste. That's a tasty beer. <sighs> and for a light pilsner, what's it coming at? Four point seven percent. Yeah, four point seven. Great can art again. Fire versus save versus fire. So I don't know what these are. Saves. They're like I, I think they point to are. like um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Is that what it is? The the weird shaped dice. Yep. The uh, cheers. We'll have to uh, get some pictures of of this. Uh, I think we can do that at some point. Um, just that's, roll through them. We're not we're not doing videos today. We're just not capable. So what do you think? We're only so talented. Yeah, we can only do two things at once: drink and talk. No, it's uh, it's phenomenal. It's um, you know, super light. Um, man, that's uh, that's good. That is a good beer. That's you know what. They're all their little uh, pilsners and lagers are just right on. Super flavorful. Yeah, I'm getting a call, so I got to hang up on somebody. So, I mean, that's a that's a super flavor. Uh, I mean, crushable, right? Yeah, four seven. Are you kidding me? Rye pilsner. That's a new one for me. How about you? Yeah, no, I don't think. Uh, um, I'm trying to think what else they. No, oh, that's good. We're going to drink this whole can so we don't have any wandering beverages. Yeah, but yeah I'm going to I'm gonna say out of 10. It's nice and hoppy. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a seven and a half, eight. Somewhere in that area. I mean, they've had... They, I mean, I'm sorry, but Party Cup is absolutely legit. Mm-hmm. Birdie the bogey is absolutely legit. Now this is new. This may grow on me. I don't know, but you know, I really like. Right it. now, it's. I think there's a lot of flavor. A I love those Nelson hops. Oh, you're a Nelson um, freak. I do like that that Nelson. Uh, <laughs> you like um, Nelson. That's it. You like yeah. Charles Nelson Riley so much. <laughs> <laughs> you like good beer. That's all there is to it. That is. That is super. Um, that's super tasty. Mm. What I do like we? Uh, Which one do you want to go do there next? So the next beer, another another style. I um, I don't have a whole lot of. It's the uh, the old dark lager. Oh, the Berlin game. Berlin game. Yep. It, uh, it's a dark lager. Comes in at five point six per five point six percent. I had this too. 
they said it's a rich, dark, malty. Uh, Brilliant Games are Czech-style black lager that offers uh, flavors of toasted bread, bittersweet chocolate, and a prominent roasted note. Let me tell you about dark on this one. It is dark, and it is delicious. I mean, it pours like a porter. Let me tell you that right now. Uh, this is this is named after the Burlingame Historic District over there in North Park. It's known for some varieties of uh, characterful houses built in many popular architectural styles from the early 1900s. Yep, I've been in a few of them. So it says, uh, we think our Burlingame beer is, is quite characterful and that it has many flavors in common with stouts and porters. Uh, with that cl- uh, clean and refined finish, you'd uh, find an exceptionally well-crafted lager. I think, did I have a whole pour or a half pour of this? <clears throat> I'm not certain. It was good. What are the what are the hops they're using? Um, they don't say here. Czech style lager, black lager. So, gosh, it's really good. Two a pilsner and a lager. So it certainly smells. This one is really malty, much right? Much more malty and flavorful. Mm-mm-mm. Good stuff. Gosh, we should drink this more often. I wish. I, hey, we found out some news this week, didn't we? What's that? Ooh, that is really, really tasty. North Park Brewery Club membership. That's what they were talking about, right? They're trying to uh, trying to figure something out. Yeah, that might be the hottest uh, the hottest ticket in town. Heck yeah, it's gonna beer. be fantastic. Those guys are just knocking it out of the park every <clears> time <throat> they put something out. Great beers, super great beers. This is one of them. Dunk on it. That is really, really tasty. You know, it's a style that I don't have a whole lot of. Right? You know, I'm not uh, black I, lager. Yeah, that's rare. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Enigrin makes one. I I, uh, I tend to stay away from them. I think you know I. Uh, um, but no, that's phenomenal. It's and you know I think I don't have a whole lot of them. Um, gosh, it's really, really. It's super tasty. full flavor, right? That's a couple of uh, yeah light beers that had uh, had a lot of flavor to them. Well, that's it's six percent total. Did you say five seven? I thought that's what it said here. It says six on the can. Maybe they jacked it up a little. That's high actually for a lager. To be honest with you, yeah, it says five six here. Yeah. <clears throat> Between five, six, and six. Let's go with that. No, it's a... Uh, Maybe on tap, it's five, six. <laughs> Draws off a little alcohol consumption there. Smells fantastic. These guys do a good job. Man. No, they, they certainly do. And who was that guy that was helping us? He was super nice. Yeah, I'm not certain. Um, we got to get names. Super, yeah. Um. Gosh, that's super, super uh, tasty. Held our beer while we were across the street. Um, he did. Hitting up uh, Gino at uh, Bottlecraft. I like it. I could do. Uh, I could certainly do that beer again. Did we get a couple four-packs of that? Or just I got one? a four-pack. Just one? Yep. You want to guess where? Uh-oh. Um, give me just one. One second. Careful. He's just saying, were you going to guess where I got it? Oh, he's getting a napkin. <laughs> I have those here. Oh, he's going to charge his phone. That's what's going to happen. I broke my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Would it tell you you're at 2%? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, do you have any decent beers this week, Charlie? I did. I, uh, I drank a couple of uh, Humble C. Um, oh, gosh, I don't have the cans. I didn't take mm-hmm. pictures of them. I did have... Uh, one of those urban south, urban south, from uh, mm. what Ryan turned us on to there, and let me tell you, fruity and delicious. It was some something cotton candy. Yeah. So I don't remember the exact name. I'll let you know next time. But uh, wow, it was good though. Super good. I mean, it was like four fifty north. Good. Yeah. So those guys are the new. New 450 North, I think. Yeah, they were. Uh, well, people aren't going to be able to get 450 North. This I mean, Ryan can because he's special. But <laughs> I mean, he's got a he's got a liquor store up there that'll get anything he wants, I guess. But uh, this place, I mean, they're putting it together. I mean, they're gonna. I'm sure they're gonna advance each time they make something different. But they had like four or five different ones that I got from uh, down there at uh, Valley Farms, I think. Mm-hmm. And then, gosh. 
I think I gave a couple of them to my kids. And then uh, I also um, had some creative creature. What'd you get? Um, <clears throat> been working on my cocktail game this week. And that's... Uh, well, that's right. Manhattans. Manhattans. Which have nothing to do with man. And old fashions. Old fashioned, I like. Yep. I don't know what it is, but I like it. No, it's great. Sounds yeah. old fashioned. Yep. I uh <laughs> yeah, I gotta gotta up my uh that's I think that's a span a spendy sport to get into <sighs> there. You know, making Can't making some cheap. uh nice cocktails. Yeah, but I think the, the shaker things right, and yeah, the you stirry gotta, things. You get everything. I'm just a bloody Mary guy. Ooh, I'm a fan. That's why I got my my special recipe from a buddy of mine, Chris. Not you, Chris, another Chris, but uh, we're going to hit into that next one there. Yeah. So, you know, the 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 best beer I had this week was probably this this beer right here. Um, oh, yeah. So the uh, this is a, a, a collaboration between um, Slice Pizza or Slice Beer Company in, uh, um, in Sacramento and um, in North Park here. So it's Slice... Uh, Foo. Slice Foo. Which is a twist off of their, or spin off of their Hop Foo, which is probably one of their best West Coast IPAs. Hey gosh, that's uh, like the best West Coast IPA in town for sure. Um, so it says, you know, their they're write up on this is we are big fans of our good pal Zach and his delicious West Coast IPAs. So, you know, we had to do a collab on something clear and thus we present you with Slice Foo. Uh, it's a double dry hopped West Coast IPA hopped with Strata, Mosaic, Mosaic Cryo, Mosaic Incognito, Simcoe, Simcoe Cryo, and Nelson Hops. This little slice of heaven sip, uh, it's sipping on a hoppy mix of blueberries, oranges, strawberries, with copious amounts of pine, dankness, and resin to remind you uh, that West Coast IPA will never die. Super clean, hella crispy, with a deliciously dry and moderately bitter finish. Uh, we love this one a lot, so make sure you get your piece of the pie before it's gone. <laughs> The can art is <clears throat> absolutely fantastic. So it's a, a slice of pizza doing like a karate jump move, and then it's a slice foo above it, and then it has like the traditional Italian tablecloth and the red and white checkers. Yeah. Super cool. No, that's a, uh, gosh, that's, they just make the best. Um, we sat around, we had, IPAs. we had a full pour of this. Yep. It was delicious. I, yeah, I wanted to try that. Um. Yeah, that's that's a super tasty beer. Seven percent ABV. That's uh that's a, that's a great West Coast IPA. We got to get a, a tech guy, Steve. We uh we got one of those for you. Yeah, sure. if you're willing to drink one. <laughs> so the uh, so the West Coast steps up. What do we? Oh, I'm just looking into the next. Next beer. Oh, hey, surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, so I just randomly grabbed four. Don't, we're not shaking. Beers, we're not so. even mentioning that yet. We're going to talk more about this. Like, so, no, that's it's super, um, super tasty. I mean, it's, uh, so let's know, talk about, uh, the guy from Slice. Yeah. So Slice, um, originally he was at Moonraker, I believe. <sighs> Great brewery, too. Um, yeah. No, they, um, he opened his own place, right? He's the brewer at at a pizza place there in Sacramento. It's Slice Pizza, and then they. Why haven't we been there? Um, they they're closed. You know, they they we seem to be a uh, a, um, a Monday Tuesday guy. I think they're closed early week. Or, We're not going there anymore on Mondays and Tuesdays. Yeah, no, there's uh, we tried to stop in there. There's a couple places I want to hit up there, but uh, absolutely, I'm going to say well. Hop Foo is my favorite West Coast IPA. Yeah? Are you coming around? No, I'm not. I may, but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, to be determined. But this one right here, I like a little better than Hop Foo. Yeah? I don't know why, but I do. Just that hop combo you like a little bit it more? It must be. I, I, I don't know what they're using, but... Uh, yeah, so they have uh, you know, Strata, Nelson, Mosaic, Salve. Simcoe. Uh, Strata, Mosaic, Simcoe, and uh, Nelson. That's this a great combination. Sov Sovang or Sovang. Nelson Sovang. Yeah, Nelson Sovang. That's what it is. But yeah, it's uh, 
just milder than theirs. Yeah. On the it doesn't taste. have as much bite. There's there's more hops in in hop food. I think there's I don't know. I thought it was seven or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's more than drinkable, even at seven percent. Seven percent is a high ABV for for a, my West Coast IPA, but. I don't know. What is, uh, what is hop foo? It's got to be like six, five, seven, right? Um, yeah, let's find out. Ooh. It is golden, delicious looking, though. I mean, it's. Yeah, super clear, right? Yeah. You hold it up against the, pretty much anything. <clears throat> now, I'm, I'm kind of partial to uh, what I have on tap here, but uh, this is really good. If I could get it. You know, a six to all this, I wouldn't complain. Yeah. And I would drain it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's a super tasty beer. Um, that hop foo is seven and a half percent. And that has. Um, wow, I was totally Chin- wrong. Uh, Chinook, Simcoe, Citra, Amarillo, Mosaic, uh, Columbus. What? Is, yeah, so six hops in the. Uh, this just has the four. Well, it's on the same level. Only with four hops. Oh, it's super. I mean, golly. No, that that's a uh, that's a really really tasty West Coast IPA. Um, Do a heck of a job. Bitter up front, you know, nice, just bitter, just bitter back end. <laughs> super piney. At the end, for me, it's <clears throat> it's it's bitter, but it's not overwhelmingly bitter. Yeah. So that's that's my go to. Do you? Uh, you want to run with this last one? Yes. So this last one, Charlie. I didn't come here to watch. I know you're um, in the process of being converted, so I brought us a, a double dry hopped hazy, because you're a big hazy guy, West Coast IPA. If it's murky, I'm in. Uh, the Dank Don't Die. They say this is the dankest IPA collaboration ever assembled. They got uh, Nelson, Simcoe, Citra Incognito, Citra Cryo, Galaxy, and Nectaron. Whoo! Hops there. Uh, it's, a, it's a collab with... Uh, them another another group of pizza boys the uh, the boys at Cellar Maker. Mm, mm, mm. Cellar Maker pizza boys. Huh? They uh, well they have a uh, you know they have the the brewery that we went to that time, and then they have um, I think they have a pizza shop that they opened you know shortly before COVID. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. It is a hazy, not like orange juicy hazy, just a slight haze. So I, it, it's hazy. I'll give them that. Hazier than the slice food. Yeah, for sure. it is definitely hazier than the slice food. So the write up on this one says uh, After a long and dangerous journey uh, full of dank defying terrors, the North Park Brewing Company crew, armed only with cryo hops and a mash paddle, uh, made their way. Uh, back from the ultimate mission. Create the dankest IPA uh, collaboration ever uh, with their homies at Cellar Maker. I'm going to have to say uh, this <clears throat> This is pretty doggone good. It's, wow. Uh, I, I filled up my glass because I tasted it and then I poured some more in there. So yeah, that's how good it is. It's... Gosh, it smells citra. Yeah. They put citra in it? Yeah, you can smell it super, um, just really, I guess, dank, right? Yeah. Just, just citra. You smell all of that, like just the hop. These guys must just be having a blast making this stuff, I would imagine. Man, that's good. You know, it's it got certainly all has kinds that, of fruity flavor in it. It is super, super flavorful. Um, yeah, you get a lot of fruit and then, you know, it's got that bitterness, but it's just kind of rounded off by the, oh, that's, I don't taste any bitterness in it. Not even at the end. You know what rolls off on my tongue at the end is that citra. I could taste it for crying out loud. I'm a citra junkie. I think, I think, I don't know to be determined as they say. That's what they say. Ooh, that is some good stuff. So we're going to be making some rounds here pretty quick. You like that one? Yeah. I would go back there and get some more of that. Definitely. It's got, uh, like I said, it's got a great can arc 
and it's uh it's got all the hops on it with this crazy like graveyard dead hand coming out with the moon the dank don't die no it's great it has a lot of and a lot of uh seven percent a lot of fruit in there you know, it's certainly, uh, it's got that, that little bit of bitterness when you, uh, Charlie doesn't taste the bitterness, taste but it. it's, it's citra. It's overpowered with citra. I love it. That's a great beer. That was another, uh, another home run. So Charlie, that was our, uh, that was our four beers. We're going to go after potty. Okay. Well, let's Which, run through before we, uh, get into that. What do you, uh. So we had the save versus fire we started off with, which mm-hmm. was the uh, the Nelson Rye Pilsner, the Burling Game, which was the Black Lager, mm-hmm. Slice Foo, and finally the uh, which was the West Coast IPA, the Double Dry Hopped West Coast, and then the Dank Don't Die, which was the um, Double Dry Hopped Hazy West Coast IPA. What do you think of those? I'm going to say that uh, out of the, out of the four, I'm going to go with the. Uh, the dank don't die is your number one. Yeah, and then um, slice foo. Yeah, it's your their your your number two would be that slice foo. Yeah, and then Berlin game, mm-hmm. and then uh, save versus fire. Yeah, I would. Uh, um, you know, I think I, I would I would rank them in, in two groups, right? Like the the IPAs or the the West Coast IPAs, and I think in that one, you know, I'm going. Going that slice food, that's just a phenomenal West Coast IPA. Uh, and then, you know, the the lager. The, this over this? I'd go slice food over the dank tone die, for sure. <clears throat> I, I think it's just the, I like the, I love that that bitterness. And it's, uh, I mean, this is great. I, I find you bitter about it. <laughs> they're, they're both <laughs> phenomenal beers. I like it. No, they're but to, they're all uh, good. To bring, you know, uh, to bring Steve back in the conversation, you know, he likes to look at it as what beer would he uh, like to be on a desert island with? Out of those two, it'd I be think the he would slice. pick this one. I think he'd go slice foo. We'll have to ask him. We'll uh, recap next episode with him. We'll have to get him one each. Yeah, and then blind taste test. He can do that. We need to do a blind taste test for him. <laughs> he could do that. But uh, so I, then the 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 other side of it, the save versus fire on the Berlin game. I think I'm going to win the Berlin game on that as well, yeah, just because I think absolutely. it was it, they, both of them were really really well done. But um, the, the the Berlin game this was one just is mild out. compared to the flavor in this one. Yeah, and the no, it's a great it's a great beer. But I think yeah, certainly that Berlin game I think was uh, a little tastier in, in my eyes. Well, we're gonna do a uh, after party. We haven't done an after party in a while. It's been a minute, but. Uh, I'm going to jump this out on you. The color alone is going to be worth the effort. Yeah. And uh, this is Bantha Milk from Creative Creature. Oatmeal milkshake ale with blueberry, raspberry, blue blue raspberry, slush syrup, marshmallow, and milk sugar. 8% ABV. Hmm. You want some of that? It's Bantha milk. Is that it? Bantha. Check this out. <laughs> so a pour is like a turquoise color, kind of, huh? It is look like it looks like a. Is there, can I see that? Yeah, it looks like a ocean water of some sort. I mean, some Bahaman. So they they I can't find the. Um, so they is it listed as like the the purple Bantha? Is that it right there? Up in the upper. Yeah, that's it. I don't know why they call it purple. It's not yeah. purple. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, it looks like that's the same. That's a crazy looking color. Mm-hmm. So it's a milkshake IPA. Um, it oatmeal, milkshake, blueberries, raspberries, uh, blue raspberry slush syrup, marshmallow, milk sugar. Uh, looks purplish with tasting notes of blue raspberry slush and creamy oat body. I don't see purple there. No. I see like a aquamarine. I would say, yeah, probably similar to the color. Uh, wow, it's like candy. Let me tell you, man, it is. It's totally not what I was. I don't know how you call that, like an IPA, like a. <laughs> I mean, that's like a call sour. whatever they it's want. Like a, yeah, I mean, it's what it tastes like is that blue raspberry syrup. Yeah, that's unique. 
for sure. Mm. I love that flavor. It's just, it's like a cotton candy of some sort, you know, something that sweet and milky and tasty all at the same time. Super good. But yeah, I wanted to go the, uh, the potty after potty. No, that's, yeah, that's a super unique beer. Well, so that's, uh, gosh, that's about it. This it's week, five huh? beers. Wow, we didn't. I, hopefully, you still have some <laughs> left over there. <laughs> In a couple cans, we do. Yeah. Not sure. very many. Which well, one do you want? You want the slice. Whatever's left over in the slice. You can have that. Very well. Well, um, till next week. Cheers. Cheers. We hope you have enjoyed today's show. If you would like to subscribe to this show via your favorite podcast player application, then head over to the podcraft.com website and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures and videos of all the beers we try, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us direct feedback and to connect with us on social media. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a super awesome rest of your day. The Podcraft Beer Show podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2022. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email the podcraft podcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.